Hi! <laughs> Welcome to another fabulous episode of my watch. <laughs> but reviewing stuff! Reviewing stuff! And um, today's episode of reviewing stuff is called Why Do We Regroup? This is for subtraction. All right. Why do we regroup for subtraction? Okay. So first things first. Why do we regroup for subtraction? Um, because we cannot just immediately start taking things out of this. This is 100, right? This is one solid brick of, of 100. So let's say that I have a problem like 100 minus 23. All right. So the first thing that we do when we do 100 minus 23 is we come over here and we say 0 minus 3. And we can't do 0 minus 3, can we? All right. So what's actually happening is we need to borrow from next door. OK, when we're borrowing from next door, all we're doing is we're breaking up this 100 into pieces that we can use. All right. So this is 100, a flat. One of these, when we're dealing with whole numbers, equals 100, all right? So right now, can I just take 3 away? I can't just take 3 away from here, can I? So what do I have to do? I have to borrow from the tens place, all right? So and cross out. Can I borrow from the tens place, though? There's nothing there. So to make tens... I have to borrow from the hundreds place. So the first thing that we do is we're going to say, OK, I'm going to get rid of the hundreds. And instead, I'm going to make 10 tens. So we, turn, we take away from there. We subtracted the 1, and we added 10 over here. Because what we just did is we took this one whole 100 and turned it into 10 tenths. Did you see how that's the exact same amount? All right. So now I have 10 tenths. Can I take away my three ones from my 10 tenths yet? Not yet, right? Because this is still 10 stick. So I can't just take three of these units off until I regroup again. So what I'm going to do is instead of using one 10 stick, I'm going to replace it with 10 units. All right. So there's, and you can see it takes up the exact same amount of room, OK? So now, that's still the exact same thing as our hundreds flat, right? The same value. So all we've done is we've traded it out for 10 tens, right? And then we traded one of our tens out. So now we only have nine tens. And we have 10 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that is what borrowing looks like in the blocks. So now, can I take three of these ones away from these 10 ones? Yes, I can. And how many do I have left? I have 7. 10 minus 3 is 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, can I take two of these 10? two of these tens away from the nine tens, I can. That's taking 20 away. So 9 minus 2 equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I have seven tens and seven ones. There's a 7 in the tens place. There's a 7 in the ones place. So my number is 77. Seven tens and seven ones. So that's why we regroup, is because we are turning hundreds into ten tens. And if we need to even, we can turn one of our tens into ten ones. So either way, we're still looking at a hundred, but we just broke it up into the pieces. And that is why we regroup when we subtract. All right. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.